Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Have you ever wondered how HR teams make data-driven decisions about hiring, performance, and retention? Or how companies predict future workforce needs and reduce turnover using data? The answer lies in a growing field known as HR analytics. But what exactly is HR analytics? How does it work? What benefits does it bring to organizations? And what are the challenges? In this video, I'll walk you through these questions with examples and practical insights. Section 1, Definition. HR analytics, also known as people analytics or workforce analytics, refers to the use of data analysis techniques to understand, improve, and optimize human resource processes and outcomes. It involves collecting and analyzing employee data to support decision-making in areas like recruitment, performance management, employee engagement, and retention. Rather than relying on gut feeling or intuition, HR analytics brings evidence-based insights into how people decisions impact business outcomes. Section 2. How HR Analytics Works HR Analytics involves four general steps. Step 1. Data Collection The HR Analytics process begins with collecting data from a variety of internal sources. This includes structured data from human resource information systems, such as employee demographics, job history, compensation, and performance ratings. It also involves gathering information from surveys that measure engagement, job satisfaction, and workplace culture. Additional data points come from time tracking and attendance systems, training records, and even exit interviews. By compiling both quantitative and qualitative data, HR teams lay the groundwork for understanding workforce behaviors, trends, and challenges from multiple angles. Step 2. Data Cleaning and Integration After data is collected, it must be cleaned and standardized to ensure it's accurate and usable. This involves removing duplicate entries, correcting errors, resolving inconsistencies, and filling in missing data where appropriate. In many organizations, employee data comes from multiple systems, like payroll, performance management, and learning platforms, so integrating these datasets into one cohesive format is essential. This step also includes applying consistent labeling and formats across sources to allow seamless comparison and analysis. Clean, reliable data serves as the foundation for any meaningful insights and helps ensure that future decisions are based on trustworthy information. Step 3. Analysis and Modeling With accurate data in place, HR analysts begin exploring it using statistical techniques, visualization tools, and predictive models. This step is where patterns and trends begin to emerge. Descriptive analytics might reveal where productivity is highest or where absenteeism is spiking. Predictive models, such as regression analysis or machine learning algorithms, can be used to identify factors that contribute to turnover, forecast future hiring needs, or assess the potential success of a candidate based on past hiring data. For example, analysis may show that employees who don't receive feedback within their first 90 days are more likely to resign, prompting action in performance management practices. Step 4. Insight and Action the final step is translating analytical findings into practical, strategic decisions. This is where HR analytics becomes truly valuable. For instance, if the data shows that new hires in a specific department are leaving within six months, HR can redesign onboarding in that area or investigate management practices. Insights might lead to targeted leadership development programs, improvements in employee engagement strategies, or customized retention plans for high-risk roles. These actions are then shared with department leaders and executives to guide decision-making. The power of this step lies in its ability to turn raw data into real-world improvements that drive both employee success and business performance. Section 3, Real-World Example Let's take the example of Microsoft. The company uses HR analytics to enhance employee engagement and productivity. They analyze collaboration data, such as meeting hours, emails, and work patterns, to identify burnout risks. During the pandemic, Microsoft used these insights to reduce meeting overload, promote flexible hours, and encourage well-being. As a result, productivity remained high even in remote settings. Another example is Walmart, which uses predictive analytics to improve workforce scheduling. By analyzing sales data, employee availability, and customer traffic, Walmart ensures that stores are appropriately staffed, improving both customer satisfaction and employee morale. Section 4, Benefits of HR Analytics. Integrate HR Analytics include the following benefits. Number 1. Improved decision-making. HR Analytics transforms decision-making from intuition-based to evidence-based. Instead of guessing why turnover is high or which employees might succeed in leadership roles, HR can use data to guide actions with clarity. 
For example, predictive models can forecast which departments are likely to experience burnout, allowing for proactive staffing changes or wellness initiatives. Number 2. Cost Savings By analyzing patterns in recruitment, training effectiveness, and retention, companies can identify waste and reduce unnecessary spending. For instance, if data shows that employees hired through employee referrals stay longer and perform better, HR can invest more in referral programs, saving both time and recruitment costs. Number 3. Better Talent Management Analytics provides detailed insights into employee performance, learning progress, and growth potential. This helps managers personalize development plans, allocate resources for upskilling, and make smarter succession planning decisions. For example, high-potential employees identified through data can be fast-tracked for leadership roles. Number 4. Proactive Problem Solving Rather than reacting to issues after they arise, HR analytics allows for early detection of potential problems, like declining engagement scores or rising absenteeism. These trends can be flagged before they become crises, enabling HR to implement targeted solutions such as mentorship programs or flexible work policies. Number 5. Stronger Business Alignment HR analytics bridges the gap between people's strategy and business outcomes. By connecting metrics like productivity, turnover, and training ROI to company goals such as revenue growth or customer satisfaction, HR can clearly demonstrate its impact. This positions HR as a strategic partner rather than just an administrative function. Section 5, Challenges of HR Analytics While beneficial, applying HR analytics might also face a few challenges. Number 1. Data quality. The insights from HR analytics are only as good as the data behind them. Incomplete, outdated, or inconsistent data can distort results and lead to poor decisions. Ensuring high data quality requires regular audits, standardized input methods, and coordination across departments that feed into HR systems. Number 2. Privacy and ethics. Tracking employee behavior and performance can raise ethical concerns around surveillance and confidentiality. It's critical for organizations to balance insight with privacy, follow data protection regulations and be transparent with employees about what data is collected and why. Number 3. Skill Gaps Many HR professionals come from traditional people management backgrounds and may lack experience in data analytics. This skills gap can limit the ability to interpret or act on data effectively. Organizations should invest in training HR teams on data literacy or partner with data analysts to bridge the gap. Number 4. Integration Issues HR data often lives in silos, payroll in one system, training in another, and performance reviews in a third. Integrating these systems for a complete view of the employee lifecycle can be complex and time-consuming. It may require new software, IT support, or dedicated analytics platforms. Number 5. Resistance to Change Not everyone embraces data-driven HR immediately. Some managers and executives may be skeptical of replacing traditional judgment with analytics. Overcoming this resistance requires education, clear communication of benefits, and showcasing early wins that demonstrate how data can lead to better outcomes. Section 6, Summary To sum up, HR analytics is the practice of using data to drive smarter people decisions. From predicting turnover to improving recruitment and performance management, it transforms HR into a strategic, data-driven function. While there are challenges, like data quality, privacy, and technical skill gaps, the benefits of improved decision-making and business alignment make HR analytics an essential tool for modern organizations. All right, that's all for today's topic. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and subscribe for more insights on HR and business strategy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.